Hello everyone, it's literally been like three weeks since I last vlogged and so it feels a little bit weird to be talking to a camera again but I've been officially home for about three weeks now I've pretty much just spent all of my time resting, catching up on some much needed sleep editing and occasionally hanging out with my friends who are home from college I start school September 28th and speaking of which, I might as well give you a little life update I'm going to Korea in a couple of weeks I know this is the first time that I'm talking about it but I'm gonna be in Korea for about three weeks in September because I start school really late I'm just going with my parents, visiting my family and I'm honestly so excited because I haven't been to Korea in like five years I'm finally going to Korea, I'm so excited I haven't seen my grandparents in so long but anyways even though these past couple of weeks have been pretty chill things are starting to pick back up again if you follow me on Instagram, you probably heard already but I am going to be starring in a short film I'm starting filming this week and it's crazy because we've been preparing since the beginning of August I'm going to be honest, I'm really scared because it's just so new I've never done anything like it and I'm just kind of being thrown into the deep end without having any prior experience I have a really supportive team and I know in the end it's gonna be fine like even if my acting is a little cringy like at least I put myself out there at least I tried something new but me just being very anxious and perfectionist and never satisfied with my own quality of work I've just been doing a lot of overthinking which I think is one of the reasons why I've been feeling kind of down lately but I thought I would just start off this vlog with a little chatty life update let me know how your guys' summer is going I know I've said this before but I seriously read all the comments like I see you guys and sometimes I click on your profiles and see if you have any videos and if you do sometimes I watch them so since I'm going to be in Korea all the way up until I move back to school which is at the end of September um, I've been doing a lot of my back to school prep and shopping before I go to Korea um, some of the things being repotting my plants because I have been putting that off for the longest time two, getting a new planner three, shopping for fall which is my favorite season and four, getting some school supplies for the new school year I recently got this academic planner from Papier I think that's how you pronounce it but it's in like this super cute floral print which I'm very excited to use it's quite simple I also recently got a new case for my iPad and my MacBook and I'm obsessed, they're so cute they're from Caseify and I've been a big fan of Caseify even before they reached out to partner with me which is why I'm super excited to thank Caseify for sponsoring this portion of the video although they're known for their phone cases Caseify also has super durable, protective, and aesthetic cases for MacBooks, iPads, and even AirPods the iPad and MacBook cases are perfect for everyday use during school and are completely scratch proof which is a necessity for someone that is very clumsy like me meaning I don't have to worry about accidental scratches as I use them on the daily there are so many cute prints and customizations that you can do like I did with my TXT phone case and all the cases are super slim and protective even my airpods which I customized match my card holder and I don't ever have to worry about losing or breaking them due to the impact crush case Caseify also regularly partners with small artists, which I love, and use recycled plastics as part of their movement to be more sustainable. If you want to match with me for your back to school essentials, don't forget to check out Caseify for your MacBook, iPad, and AirPod cases using my link down below to get an extra 15% off at checkout. Again, thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this video. Y'all are the best. And yeah, back to the video.
good with maintaining my bangs. But since I'm filming my short film this week, um, I wanted to have bangs for the character. Okay, I think I think that's good. I think that's good. Fly by Jing's chili sauce. Strawberry green tea with lychee jelly. Excited to try this. Mm. There isn't much to do in the suburbs in the summertime except get boba and maybe go to Target. now I was at that cafe for maybe two hours obviously did not get much work done but that's fine I wasn't really planning on it being like a heavy work day it's just I'm so used to being behind on things being behind on work on my assignments and just being stressed and overworked in general that when I'm not stressed and overworked and when I have days where I just don't have a lot of work to do it's such a foreign feeling and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with my time? Like relax? Like do hobbies? Do I even have any hobbies? It's almost like I have a work-life balance. I've been wanting to get back into reading and so I think I might go to a bookstore, pick up a book or two and see where things go from there. More about the care, more about the care. I didn't want to come back when the traffic was too bad but here's my little book haul I don't buy books too often because they're looking kind of expensive but the first book that I got The Spanish Love Deception this book is pretty popular on TikTok I think but it's like a slow burn enemies to lovers romance and you know I eat that shit up so probably gonna start with this one the next book that I got is Almond by Son Won Pyong this is 
a book that is really popular among like BTS fans. I'm sure Yoongi and Namjoon recommended it like years ago and so it's been on my list for a while. The last book that I got is Pachinko by Lee Min Jin. I've heard so many good things about it. Um, it's quite thick. I always love learning more about Korean history and you know, rave reviews all around. having a call with my manager now I'm just eating some leftover salmon and rice for lunch I was tempted to watch Netflix but I just finished Extraordinary Attorney Wu and <laughs> I need some time to recover from that so I'm gonna be doing some reading instead I also finished um, The Spanish Love Deception in literally 24 hours it's kind of embarrassing but if you're looking for like an easy to read kind of trashy romance this is the book for you um i was tearing through these pages i literally don't remember the last time i've finished a book this fast and it's like it's decently thick too um i literally pulled an all-nighter it was totally unnecessary but now on to almond <laughs> For some reason i feel like i could take a nap but i don't want to do that so i'm gonna make myself an iced matcha Goodness. Please. Dirt secured. As the warmth of summer gives way to the cool of fall. Just as one season ends, another begins. I feel like a lot of people are going through changes right now, including me, and transitional seasons tend to bring a mix of emotions. So whether you started school, are working a job, or are going through a personal development journey, I want to end this video with some encouragement for you, and maybe for myself as well. No matter how prepared you feel, how stressed or excited you may be, I just wanted to remind you that you are so much more capable than you think you are. 
I know it's so easy to beat yourself up and constantly compare yourself to others, but don't forget to take a step back every now and then, breathe, and look at how far you've come. Even if you're feeling stuck or aren't exactly where you want to be, I hope you can still be proud of yourself for making it this far and for not giving up on your dreams. It's never too late to take another step towards your goals, and it's also never too late to change your goals. This is something that I'm really trying to internalize for this upcoming school year, that change is not bad. And that flexibility gives you room to see more opportunities that you might not have seen before. My professor once told me that flowers don't compare themselves to other flowers, they simply bloom. As cheesy as that may sound, let's continue to nurture ourselves and our communities and grow together at our own pace. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!